Walsingham. Welcome to the pre-spring break edition of Walsingham Today. I'm Maggie Minoni. And I'm Christian Carter, and we're upper school news correspondents. Here's a segment with a member of class of 2018, my personal friend, super great lacrosse player, even better field hockey player, Cammie Mann. Hi, my name's Cammie Mann, and I'm a member of the class of 2018. My favorite memory at Walsingham was playing on many of the sports teams with my friends. Next year, after I graduate from Walsingham, I'll be playing lacrosse at Arizona State University. My advice to the lower classmen is to have a lot of fun in high school and be involved in as many extracurricular activities as you can. Here's a segment featuring one of our Athletes of the Week, Tanner Schobel. Hi, my name is Tanner Schobel. I was recently Athlete of the Week for having a pretty good week last week where I started off really slow and I didn't do so well. Then I really picked it up and I went 4-4-4 four 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 with a walk, or two walks and uh, two home runs. And uh, we're 6-0 right now on our whole, like our overall record right now. And uh, we have pretty big games coming up this week and next week, so it would be really nice for to have a big crowd and for people to come out. Thank you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Caitlin Farrell. Caitlin Farrell who? Caitlin Farrell, our lower school news correspondent. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Caitlin Farrell, your lower school news correspondent. Here's a segment with Miss Ward talking about our participation in the VIMS Art Contest. Hi, I'm Kim Ward, science coordinator of the lower school. It's my pleasure to tell you about a special project the fourth and fifth graders started last week. They submitted artwork to VIMS, which is the Virginia Institute of Marine Science. The artwork is going to be entered into a contest to determine which design might get chosen for this year's Marine Science Day t-shirt. The winning design should be chosen next week and hopefully one of our fourth and fifth graders will be selected to have their image printed on the t-shirts for that day's event. I hope everyone considers joining us at VIMS on May 19th for Marine Science Day. It's a great family event and because it's on a Saturday, everyone is welcome to join. Here's our Science Corner with Ian Howard. Hello, this is the Science Corner and I'm Ian Howard. Today, in the background, you may have noticed that the chickens have finally hatched. Yay! <laughs> Each of them has a unique color and size particular to the breed. We have three different breeds and you can tell what breed they are just by the color of the chicken. The bud quails have yet to hatch yet, but they should have hatched by the end of spring break. The substrate in their tanks mimic what the mother birds would make for the babies. They would take in grasses and sticks and lay them out in the ground to form a nice soft bedding. And we made that for the chickens here. They have heat lamps above them which warm the chickens just like the mothers would when they sat on the chickens. They eat a lot of seeds which is what the female chickens would bring to their babies in the wild or even in captivity. The button quails, once they hatch out, will likely eat the same things as these chickens. Thank you. This has been Caitlin Farrell, your lower school news correspondent. Have a good spring break and see you next time. Thank you for watching another edition of Walsy and Today. I'm Christian Carter. And I'm Maggie Minoni. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> wow. Did you smack that? Her that, in the okay, that, that. Was, that was, we need to use that. <laughs> we gotta use that. That was so good. That was a stage. Oh, good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Knock knock. Knock knock. Are we really doing this? Knock knock. Yes. Might as well. It's the pre-spring break edition. Anything can happen. <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Just say who this. Right. Yes, who this? Okay. All right.